Red Star currently leads the French national division by 10 points, following a significant rise through the leagues. But fans say that issues with the owners cannot simply be overlooked due to on-field performance. In a press release from the club's ultras group Tribune Reno della Negra, the owners were deemed toxic, and it was stated that uh, the situation should be brought to the attention of the general public. As detailed by Foot Amateur, the statement read as follows. The emotions generated by this ascent should not, however, lead us to ignore the warning signs regarding 7777 Partners, the toxic owner of Red Star. Two years ago, during the swift sale of our club by Patrice Haddad to 777 Partners, we had already taken a stance against the profile of this financial group, a frantic buyer of clubs with no consistency in its acquisitions. The elements are accumulating and accelerating, calling into question the financial, legal, and moral reliability of Partner 777. The ascent now achieved, coupled with the accelerating warning signs regarding Partner 777, compels us to expose this situation to the general public. The sporting and financial health of our club must be understood by closely examining the overall toxic situation of the heavily indebted 777 Partners Group. Additionally, concerns raised by Red Star fans regarding the legal and moral issues of 777 were shared by Everton supporters throughout the acquisition process, with various lawsuits in the United States topping the long list of issues. The group's concern over what it labeled as a frantic buying spree of clubs, as well as inconsistencies in the acquisitions, will only be reinforced by the ongoing public takeover bid at Goodison Park if approved. Red Star has become the latest club to protest against 777, following previous demonstrations by standard Liege fans in Belgium and Hertha Berlin in Germany, setting a concerning precedent for potential Everton owners. The latest update on the ongoing acquisition process is that the club's financial advisors are now seeking alternative funding to assist with the acquisition, amid concerns that it will fail without support. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.